Assalamualaikum and hello all. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Faizal bin Abdul Qadir with matric number 59593 from Network Computing Program. I would like to take this opportunity to talk about my final year project which is General Marking Rubric Mobile Applications. First, I'm going to present planning phase of this project. Then I'll share with you the implementation phase which the mobile application successfully developed. After that will be constraint and future works of the proposed project. Finally, I'll show you the demo of general marking rubric apps. The introduction. Rubric marking scheme evaluates student assessment by dividing each mark by criteria. And then a lecture will create the rubric and print it out for each student or group assessment, then evaluate them using the printed rubric. General marking rubric is developed to overcome the problem that arise in the current method use. And general marking rubric is a platform to create custom rubric and grading student assessment that can increase the efficiency of the marking process. Proceed with the problem statement. There are three problem statements that stated here which is first is manually. Lecturer will create a lot and each rubric mark for manually and not using mobile, which is the lecturer will have to sit in front of the desktop or their PC to make the rubrics. Next will be the paper. Lecturer has to print out the rubric according to number of students for each assessment, which need a lot of paper to print, which also wasting a paper. And the third is time. The existing system consumes plenty of time because the capacity of student and assessment for each of the subject. There will be many rubrics to create and many rubrics to print it out because, uh, because in a class there will be a 50 to 40 to 50 student. So this is the objective of uh, my project, which is design the generic marking rubric mobile applications, and then developing the generic marking rubric marking, developing the generic marking mobile application using Android Studio, and then evaluate the proposed application based on system testing and usability testing. So in this project, there will be three main features which is first is the rubric and then class management and student management. In the rubric itself, it can create custom rubric, view rubric listing, rubric editing, delete rubric table, and export, and export uh, rubric to PDF or Excel, which is easier to export the rubric and observe them at the future. And then the next will be the class management. In the class management, the lecturer can create class, view class listing, edit class, and also delete the class. And the last will be, and the last is students management. In the students management, lecturer can add new student, view student listing, and delete the student. And this is the methodology that I use to develop this project. This is called the waterfall methodology. So why did I choose this methodology? The reason for choosing this method is because of the nature of the apps that is going to develop. The system focus on the breadth rather than the depth. The depth of function are not their prior concern due to importance of having few working function which the users, lecturers can use once the initial version of the apps has been developed. This means that the function of the system are being built first so that the user is able to use it. The user will then able to provide the feedback to the developer and improvements can be made in the next iterations. Since the requirement of the user is always changing, it would be wise to platform incremental on the system so that more function can be added or changed later. Here is the implementation which concerns three things. Android Studio, which is the platform or the base of this uh, of this project and we're using java programming java programming language and then the database i'm using my sql database because it is more familiar to me and more reliable and then the user interface will be 
using Android device, of course, because we use Android base and platform to do this project. This is the database structures that I come to create, which is uh, students, rubric, and class as the primary key. And here is the functional testing. Each functionality will be tested repeatedly by developer and user, and the text is documented in test case. Table one is one of the test case example here, where we test the we test on the objective of this test is create, view, and delete rubric. And the first test will be user click new rubric button. And the expected result will be user navigate to create rubric page, and the actual result will will navigate the create rubric page, which is same, which is the same as the expected result. So the result will be passed. There also a fail testing that I'm testing it, which is fill all the requirement field except for the field and except for the title field, and click create button. The expected uh, result will be a rubric fail to create and the actual result rubric fail to create and pop-up message says please fill out this field which pointed to the field that unfilled which not filled and the result of this test is fail. I'm also use uh, done the interrupt testing. The interrupt testing is regulated to test the mobile application behavior during an interruption. There will be some of interruption which uh, which always happen which is when the connection when the internet is lost connection and when we exit the apps. So for instance uh, test ID of i1 receive a phone call while using the mobile apps the expected result resume at the same screen and did not refresh at any input data and the actual result is resume at the same screen and did not refresh at input data so the result of this test is passed and also the same as the internet lost internet connection while using the mobile application should not be able to create the apps should not be able to create rubric and execute ed edit delete and function the actual result of this test is should not be able to create rubric and execute ed edit and delete function so the result of this test is passed and the next is minimize the mobile the mobile apps the expected result is stay on the same screen and did not undo any actions the actual result stay on the same screen and did not undo any action. The result of this test is passed. And then the last interrupt testing is exit the mobile apps. What is the expected result? The expected result will be refreshed back to home screen. And the actual result is refreshed back to home screen, which is the result come to fast. This is the usability testing. The usability testing, the usability testing is done by by I'm creating a Google form as a feedback toward the mobile apps. The first figure here showing that it is easy and simple to use. There are six respondents, three of them agree, and another three of them strongly agree, which is overall we can see that we get a positive feedback back there is the apps is easy and simple to use the next figure is the, the system interface is good okay and one respondent agreed and five respondents strongly agreed of the interface of these apps and next next question is the functionality implemented were well integrated three respondents answers agree and three respondents strongly agree for the functional because most of the function is well function as it as, as it serve and develop and the next is do they believe the system will effectively effectively help lecturers two of them agree and four of them strongly agree overall we can say that uh, the user of 
these apps that tested these apps believe the system will effectively help lecturers. Proceed to the project constraints and future works. The first constraint of this app is the proposed system does not have features to monitor student performance and set target. And then the future work will be is adding statistic features so that lecturer can have overall look for students or classes performance and set achievement target where the lecturers can monitor all the achievement, all the target of their students or their class. And then the second is the proposed system does not have safe comment or rubric category for quick access. And this is when the lecturers have to create the rubric. There will be no safe comment and no category access, category quick access, which is on which is at the initially phase they have to type type or copy the description, the title, the task, and all of that. And for the future work, adding safe comment and rubric description category for quick access. So we come to the conclusions. As a conclusion, the objective of general marking, rubric marking mobile application successfully achieved throughout the project development. The mobile apps has achieved its intended purpose, which have which to help the lecturer in Unimas to evaluate students' assessment efficiency. The mobile apps has to overcome the problem that arise in the current method use and increase the efficiency of the process of making using rubric. So the last and the last session in this presentation will be the demo. I'll do the demo for the apps general marking rubric mobile application. Okay, this is the demo session and I'm using Bluestack as this is an Android platform. This is my project general marking rubric apps. Okay, and this is the first interface, which is lecture login information. As the first user and a new user, we have to click here and then it will prompt to lecture registry the register information. Fill all the forms. First, we fill lecture name, com, and then the password. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Confirm password, and then click register. Then it will say the new lecture account is registered successful. Then enter the email and enter the password. Click login. Successful login. Welcome to rubric score. So this is the home page menu. There will be rubric, button, class management and student management. So first and foremost, uh, for a new user, it will be recommended to go to this interface first, student management, and then adding new student, enter student ID 59592. First name will be Muhammad. Last name gmail.com, then the guidance email the kadir at gmail.com, then the second guidance email is an optional, so we can click add, and then the new student has been added. And the students will be listed here at the view student listing. So this is all the student that I create. There are five students. Then you can go back. This is to update student information. Just click update student and just choose from the drop down list which student you want to update. For example, I choose John and click show. 
and it will show the student information and just click where to update for example i want to update the student id one two three nine eight seven six five and then after the name will be Dipul John with extra N and then click update and information updated you click OK and if you want to delete student just click the delete student and choose which student to delete for example I want to delete this Razik Abdul Rahman just click delete button here and click OK then Razik Abdul Rahman there's no more Razik Abdul Rahman in the list okay go back and then we go to class management okay. this is class listing and new class if you want to add new class just click this new class button fill in the class name for example helping relationship new class has been added and press ok and you can view the class listing here click class listing and this is the class that I created the first is TM3213 which is ITL and there will be an option here next to the next to each class manage edit and delete if you want to delete if you want to edit this class just click edit and then edit the name for example for example just helping then click update information update go back to class listing and if you want to delete just click here delete okay check there is no more on helping class so if you want to manage just manage what you can do here is we can add student to this class we can assign student to this class okay choose the student that you want to add okay example i add Muhammad faizal to this class and click add student press ok then Muhammad Faisal is already in the class. Okay, can go back, click back and back, and then at the rubric page, you have given an option: add new rubric, view rubric, uh, rubric editing, and delete rubric. So first, we will add new rubric. So this is the template of the rubric. You can scroll, scroll to left uh, or right to see the rubrics. First, we'll enter the, the title of the rubric. For example, or oh, before I forgot, we can choose which class or which student that assigned to this rubric table. Example, class. We only have one class here so this will be for this class and which student i want to assign to for example Muhammad Faisal and then fill in all the the table here for example here and satisfactory and satisfactory and here will be fair Here is good and x as task a maybe here we can fill in not connected some connected and here will be connected all connected all connected 
and here is connected and organize assign I will put it as lab then create new rubric table has been created click OK we successfully created a rubric and if you want to view the rubric click here view rubric and choose from the drop down list click lab and click show and it will show you the rubric here and we have a an option here to export it to export it as excel and pdf export it as excel and then here the rubric table is exported if you want to open it here the rubric table can open the rubric table because the platform I'll show you at using the phone later okay close this okay we're back and you can also export it as PDF I'll show you later at Oh, sorry, rubric table PDF here as well. We can open it on this blue stack. I uh, will open it later on my phone. Okay, go back. So we can go back here, and then there will be rubric editing so you can choose which rubric you want to edit for example this rubric project and click show and here we show the rubric just choose which one that you want to edit for example i want to edit uh, the name of the name of it which is presentation presentation maybe this will be task one and can click edit if you done edit it edit information has been updated so can view it back at here here it will show presentation that we edit just now and then here is the rubric next delete rubric at the delete rubric just choose which rubric to delete from the drop down list here for example this rubric lab and then click delete then click ok view it and the in the view rubric listing there's no more lab rubric because it is deleted so can go back here to the home page and then it's already done all the interface here rubric class management and students management and if you want to log out just click log out and then this is the confirmation message if you want to cancel just click cancel and we'll go back to home page and then if you want to log out just click ok and it will prompt you to the login in login interfaces so that that's all for the demo of the mobile apps So this is the interface that I want to show just now using my phone mirroring to my PC. I'm not using it at the beginning because it's a bit slow. So here is the rubric table listing just now. 
and you want to show this rubric table just click show and then export it as excel just and press k and then press download and then open show so it will show you like this because I don't have Excel in my phone but if you open it on the in the lab in PC desktop it will open it uh, in Excel so go back to the apps and then we export it as PDF and just press export as PDF and then open with PDF viewer so this is the table just now it's open in PDF format so that's it for the demo of my project which is general marking rubric and this is the database of my project and okay and this is the class for the class database and the name of this database is rubric here so this is the class database that we created just now there is three class the mn3213 new class and class a and this is the class student which the database to for assign the student to the class and this is the lecture database there are three lecture registered which is Faisal, try and test the lecture email and the password encrypted next is the rubric the details this is the rubric we have three rubric here and the next is the rubric table which is the rubric that we created which is Simon project and TTT then the student database here this is the student that we created just now Abdurrahman, Jan, Minsong and A so that's all my presentation of my project for this final year project I'm very thank you to my supervisor Dr. Muhammad for assist me from FYP1 and FYP2 and that's all from me. Thank you.